I'm Caroline. And I'm Carmen. Coming up on today's show, we have hashtag TellHS. And your Black History Month fact of the day. Stay, Stay tuned, you're, you're watching, watching Roar TV. TV. Oviedo High School. Home of champions and scholars. Here at Roar TV, we edit, film, produce, and tell Oviedo's story with pride. Welcome to Roar TV. Hey Oviedo, today is February 21st, 2023. We hope you had a great three-day weekend. Even though it's still February and the winter season, the weather this week will feel much more like summer. We've got Jack Vigliotti in the studio today with a quick weather report. Thanks guys, we don't have to report on the weather, but this week is going to be record-breaking. And when we say record-breaking, we're talking records that go back to the 1800s. There's going to be a huge high-pressure ridge developing this week, and that's going to essentially create a heat bubble. We're going to see highs getting up into the 90s this week. It's likely that records for the month of February will be set all across the East Coast this week. We had some really nice temperatures this weekend, but be prepared for some heat during the week. Hey Oviedo, it's Brady with today's hashtag TellOHS question. Since prom is coming up in two months, we're wondering what are you wearing to prom? Reply to at RoarTV on Instagram, and we'll have your responses on Friday. Now back to the studio. FCA has a weekly meeting today during both lunches in the RWL gym. The ASVAB Career Exploration Test will be given this Thursday in the Media Center at 7.30 a.m. The brand new OHS Environmental Club will meet for the first time this Thursday in Building 1, Room 210 from 2.30 to 3 p.m. The next French Club meeting will be today from 2.30 to 3 in Mrs. Huffman's room, 13008, to celebrate Mardi Gras. If you have classes that you previously failed with an F grade, you can start making those classes up. There will be a two-hour session after school on Mondays, starting March 6th through May 15th. Once registered, you will receive an email letting you know when you can begin the course at home. Assessments must be taken on campus Monday afternoons. Students are welcome to attend the full two-hour session, but in order to finish the course, you must dedicate time outside of those Monday sessions. Students must be registered by next Monday, February 27th, using the QR code on your screen. The Black Student Union has a number of events to commemorate Black History Month. All this week is a spirit week with the following themes. Culture shock, those who stood, artists and athletes, and HBCU or college gear day. Check out the flyer on your screen for more details. Come celebrate Black History Month with a cultural showcase featuring live music and dance performances this Thursday, February 23rd at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Admission is free. The Black Student Union is also hosting a basketball jamboree on Tuesday, February 28th at 6 p.m. in the RWL gym. Teams of five are $15 and individual entries are $5. You can sign up online or in the commons during both lunches. Games will include 5v5, 3v3, three-point contest, dunking contest, and more. Admission for fans is free and concessions will be sold. Participants must register today. See Mrs. Finnegan in 8220 with questions. A prom dress pop-up shop will be open this Saturday, February 25th at the Action Church in Sanford from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. They have over 250 dresses that can be purchased for a $20 donation that benefits Kaylee's Dream Foundation. The water polo team is hosting a fundraiser called Water Polo vs. the World. They are in search of other athletes at Oviedo to sign up to play in a water polo tournament against each other, even with little to no experience in the sport. The tournament will be held on March 8th from 4.30 to 6. The registration deadline has been moved to this Friday. You only need seven people for a team. I'm Ariana, here with today's Black History Fact. In 1920, Fritz Pollard and Bobby Marshall became the first black athletes to play in the NFL. Pollard was also the league's first black coach. Hey all you beta people, it's Spencer Malott with this week's Beta Buzz. Thank you to everyone who came out this weekend to volunteer with Feeding Children Everywhere. If you have any good pictures of the event, please make sure to send them to Mrs. Shea. Also, congrats to Kyra Henricks for being named semifinalist for the National Beta Club Scholarship guaranteeing her at least $1,000 and the chance to win $20,000. She has won science at the state level all four years and has won national for the past three years. There's a great leadership program in Washington, D.C. this summer. Information is posted on eCampus if you're interested. 
Sign-ups are still on eCampus for Lawton Basket Night, and if you are interested in running in or volunteering for the Shamrock Run, you can sign up on Hope Helps website. That's all I have for you today. Go Beta! Beta! Have a great day, and go, go Lions! Lions.